Andy Katz here for NCAA.com and March Madness with some Big East preseason predictions. My Big East preseason player of the year is Miles Powell from Seton Hall, just slightly over Marcus Howard from Marquette. Both players could be preseason or postseason Big East player of the year. They certainly will be first team all Big East. They also could be first team all Americans. I think both could be, and I think Powell certainly will be. He's going to make big shots of the Pirates. They have a great shot to win the Big East. I think they'll be the preseason Big East favorite. My freshman of the year, Jeremiah Robinson Earl from Villanova, had a great tournament for the U19 USA gold medal winning team, playing for Bruce Weber of Kansas State. And he's going to be a key factor for the Wildcats as they lost Eric Pascal and Phil Booth. They're going to need an infusion of talent. They're getting that with Jeremiah Robinson Earl, my preseason freshman of the year in the Big East. My underrated player, nationally, he gets a lot of pub in the Big East, but more people nationally need to know about Kamar Baldwin from Butler. He's a stat stuffer. He's going to be in the top four or five, I think, in a number of statistical categories. And if Butler has a chance for the postseason, it will be because of Kamar Baldwin. All right, five key games in the non-conference in the Big East. Now remember, if you've been charting this, I'm not repeating games that I mentioned in other conference preseason predictions. So, some games involving Big East teams like Michigan State Seton Hall, like Maryland Seton Hall, aren't on this list. I've already mentioned them. So here you go. Kansas Villanova. Huge game for Villanova going against either number one or two ranked team in the country. Oregon taking on Seton Hall in a first round matchup in the battle for Atlantis. That's a tremendous first round matchup. That might be one of the best, if not the best, first round games in any of the tournaments in November or December. Villanova going to Ohio State in the Gavit games. Huge non-conference set of games for Villanova. Ohio State, I think, will be certainly an NCAA tournament team, a team that could finish in the top four or five in the Big Ten. The annual rivalry game between Marquette and Wisconsin, this time in Madison. Wisconsin going to be an NCAA tournament team. I'm predicting that this season. Marquette need to get some of those key non-conference games, wins, certainly, and this would be a huge one to get in Madison. Syracuse taking on Georgetown in Washington, D.C. Now, Georgetown, I think, is going to be an NCAA tournament team. Syracuse, maybe a bubble team. We'll have to wait and see, but this is always a fantastic rivalry game, and this would be an important non-conference win for the Hoyas to get early in the season. And my bold prediction for the Big East, five, six. That's right. Six NCAA tournament teams will be coming from the Big East. Six, with a chance for seven, okay? I had to cut one team out, but I think for sure six NCAA tournament teams out of the Big East and Seton Hall will have a chance for a one seed. That's my bold prediction on the Big East.